Mr. Didak, do you believe in the Holy Ghost? Why or why not? You see, the idea of the Holy Ghost in Christendom is that he is one in a trinity. But the Christian says that the Father is God, the Son is God, and the Holy Ghost is God. But they are not three gods, but one God. In his catechism, he continues that the Father is Almighty, the Son is Almighty, and the Holy Ghost is Almighty. But they are not three Almighties, but one Almighty. It continues, your catechism. It says the Father is a person, the Son is a person, and the Holy Ghost is a person. That's what Brother Swagger says in his book. Person, person, person. But not three person, but one person. I am asking what language are you speaking? I am asking, is that English? By God, it is gibberish, it's not English. You see, you said person, 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 but not three person, but one person. I said, Brother Swagat, you and your two other brothers, let's say you are three identical triplets. And we can't make the difference out between the three of you. They're all identical. We can't make out the difference. If one of you commit murder, can we hang the other? You say no. I'm asking why not? So you tell me that he's a different person. I said, right. What makes him different? His personality. So the father, you know, imagination, the human mind, you can't help. When you use words, they conjure up mental pictures. When you say in the name of the father, you have a certain mental picture of that old father Christmas, Santa Claus, millions and millions of times bigger than man, but something like a man sitting on some planet with his feet dangling onto the earth as his footstool, the heaven as his canopy, the loving father in heaven. When you say God the son, I'm asking, are you thinking of a prize bull or a false one? No. You're thinking of a handsome young man, blonde hair, blue eyes, handsome features. Something like what is on the King of Kings, Jesus of Nazareth, you know, uh, on the day of prime where Jeffrey Hunter was acting. You know, handsome young man, blonde hair, blue eyes, handsome features, nice beard, not with a poly nose, with a crooked nose. That might make other pictures come into your mind. You know, Shakespeare made Shylock famous. Is it Shylock? Shylock? No. You see, so you're thinking of somebody like an Englishman or a Nordic or a German type with a straight nose, the sun. And the Holy Ghost, something that came like a dove when Jesus was baptized in the river Jordan by John the Baptist or something that came in flames of fire at Pentecost. I said, the picture is not very vivid, but the picture is there. You have three distinct mental pictures. And however hard you try, you can never superimpose those three pictures and create one. There will ever be three in your mind. But when I ask you how many pictures you see, you say one, you are lying to me. Brothers and sisters, you are lying to me. I would like to know, who has heard this verse? For there are three that bear record in heaven. The Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. Have you heard that before? Have you heard that? Do you read this in your Bible? Do you? Yes, sir. yes. Yes. No, my brother says he does read it. You know, no. you don't read it in the Bible? It's not there? Yes. Sir. It is there. Yes. yes. And amazing that... Three words. Yes, yes. For there are three, I'm quoting, first epistle of John, chapter 5, verse 7. Where it says, first epistle of John, chapter 5, verse 7, where it says, For there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, meaning Jesus, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. It's there. In your Bible, sir? Here is the Holy Bible. You see, this verse I quoted you now is to be found in the Roman Catholic version of the Bible. It is to be found in the authorized King James version of the Bible. It's there. But it has now been thrown out of the revised standard version of the Bible as a fabrication. The verse on the Trinity...
It is thrown out, it is thrown out as a fabrication. All modern translations of the Bible do not have that verse anymore. This is thrown out by not by Muslim scholars, Jewish scholars or Hindu scholars, but 32 scholars of the highest eminence, backed by 50 cooperating denominations. They found that this was a fabrication and as a fabrication they threw it out. Why? Because this was a note made by a certain vigilance of Thapsus in the 6th century for his own edification or for the edification of his children. Which when the publishers, when they came across the manuscript, that marginal note came into the text. It crept in into the text. Now your scholars now discover that this is a fabrication, this is a note. This is not the works of John. So they took it out as a fabrication, as an interpolation. Jesus Christ, he never taught the Trinity. When he was questioned, Gospel of St. Mark, a learned man of the Jew comes and asks him, he says, Master, in the Hebrew language, Rabbi, what commandment is the first of all? And Jesus answered and said unto him, the first is, Shama Israelu Adonai Elohainu Adonai Echad. Say, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. He repeated word for word what was given by Moses some 1300 years before, without the change of a dot. If Trinity was what he came to teach, that was the right moment to educate the guy, for there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. He never said any such, such thing. He merely reminded him about what Moses had given 1300 years before. So there is no such thing as a Trinity as taught in the Bible by Jesus Christ. See, the Christian says that God is in three persons. And they say in the formula, that the Father is God, the Son is God, and the Holy Ghost is God. But they are not three gods, but one God. They continue in the Catechism, in the Book of Instructions, that the Father is Almighty, the Son is Almighty, and the Holy Ghost is Almighty. But they are not three Almighty, but one Almighty. It continues that the Father is a person, the Son is a person, and the Holy Ghost is a person. But they are not three persons, but one person. Am I correct? I don't know the book of Catechism. And Bishop Wakefield, in his book, in his book, it just happens to be here. <laughs> he, he's written about the doctrine of the Trinity, the attributes of God, Trinity, the triune God. And at the end of his essay on the Trinity, Bishop says, he says, yet there are not three gods, but only one, one God only, as seen in the previous section. Therefore, Therefore, we conclude that there are three persons in the unity of the Godhead. And the support is 1 John 5, 7. 1 yeah. John yes. 5, 7. One second. One second. <laughs> 1 John 5, 7. What I'm asking is that 1 John 5, 7 is not in my Bible. I want you to find that for me, in this Bible of mine. It, uh, there have been several omissions in some of the modern versions. I don't agree with them, so that's where I stand. So I'm asking, who omitted that? That verse is thrown out as a fabrication in the RSV, Revised Standard Version. Yes, I understand. Who, who did this Revised Standard Version? Not Jews, not Hindus, not Muslims. But 32 scholars of the highest eminence, Christian scholars of the highest eminence, <laughs> 32 scholars of the highest eminence, backed by 50 cooperating denominations of Christianity, they threw it out as a fabrication. And the whole Christian world is come sucking a fabrication and creating a new Godhead, a three in one. This is the Bible. Thank you. I, uh, I happen to disagree with those scholars because scholars can be mistaken. And sometimes, sometimes in the defense of truth, of course, my whole truth wasn't hung on that one verse. I just used that at one end there. Better do that. That was written 47 years ago, by the way. <laughs>